Typically, when we use mathematics to describe the natural world, we follow an approach that's called reductionism. And reductionism is basically the statement that you can understand an object by understanding the things out of which that object is made. And if you can reduce the object to its elementary constituents, and you can describe those elementary constituents with mathematics, then the idea is you describe everything that those constituents can build up to. There are other approaches, though, to using mathematics to describe the world, which focus more on the large-scale aggregate feature of objects, their shape, their size, their mass. And my own view is that you basically need to use both of these approaches. You want to not just think of this couch as a collection of 10 to the 25 particles, that's not a particularly useful way of thinking about it. You also want to think about it as one single entity that has properties. Mathematics has the capacity to describe both.